thought I would film a quick YouTube video with propagation of like the larger echeverias. Um, so I've got this one here. Um, when it was a bit smaller, it had the middle eaten out of it by either a snail or a caterpillar, but it's now growing two heads. Um, it also had three flower stems. I did uh, chop them uh, in hopes they would grow babies, but as you can see here, two of them just continued to produce flowers. Uh, and then the other one um, has produced some babies. So that's really nice. If I go over here, um, I have a similar situation. So this one had, it's got two flower stems now, but this one only had one. Here it was here. And I, oops, I nearly fell over. I trimmed this and it's pushing some babies. Uh, so that's nice. It's pushing another one there. I'm just kind of letting them flower um, because I'm trying to cross pollinate. I cross pollinate with tweezers. Um, so I pinch pollen from one flower and then I transfer that pollen to another flower with the tweezers. Oh, I was looking at this plant here. I bought this plant as Valentine, but it is not Valentine. But, oh my gosh, I was just looking at this leaf. Hold on. My hair's in my way. I can't see what I'm doing. Um, but if I put my hand here, oh, you can't really tell. But, oh my God, like the leaves on it are huge. Absolutely huge. Some really beautiful plants in this garden bed. I don't know what this, oh, sorry. I don't know what this one is called. It gets like marbling in the leaves. Um, I bought it without a name, but it's very pretty. Quite like that one. Bought this one without a name as well. It's like a, it's got like a purpley tinge to it. This one is Zorro. Uh, she doesn't have too much color on her at the moment because she's in a garden bed and she's nice and happy. I'll show you one of my other Zoros. So here's one of my other Zoros. Oops, I'll try not to get in the way, but oh my gosh. She is so pretty. She's got this really big flower stem that I'm resting on this shelf. Um, I've been really wanting to use Zoro to like try and grow some seeds from. Um, so hopefully I can get some seeds. River is being really silly. There's wallabies in the paddock and she keeps barking at the poor little things, but she's being so silly. So I've got some more plants over here. Everyone's flowering. This is one of my favorites. I bought it as Red Dragon, but I think it's Dragon Queen. I've seen this other plant called Speed Bumps and I think it looks like that as well. I don't know if Dragon Queen and Speed Bumps are the same plant, I doubt it, but the speed bumps that I've seen, they remind me of her, so I don't know. Um, and then here we got Moulin Rouge. Love this plant. She, she's a bit hard to, to really get a good look at it because she's all over the place, but she had some flower stems. Um, I trimmed them, but they continued to produce flowers. I've got one down here. It's pushed one baby. Um, but then it's a flower over here. Looks like we've got another baby coming here. But this one is so beautiful. See that? That's a chronicle on a leaf. Here's her leaf. She's just got the most... She gets like these smooth bumps. I don't know if you can see that. She gets these smooth bumps. And then she gets these big chronicles. She is just a really, really cool plant. I love this one. I have... Um, another one in a pot which is a lot smaller i'll show you that so this one is moulin rouge as well she's a double head um i bought them at the same time the double headed plants were the bigger plants uh and the smaller single head was the one i put in the garden bed and as you just seen she is massive um where i kept these guys in the pot for now i've been trying to pollinate and cross pollinate them. Um, these are some of the plants that I don't have, obviously in any of the garden beds, that's lingworse. Um, this is red sails. Red sails was quite large 
but she had a lot of old frost damage from last year. So I pulled all her old leaves off. Um, I probably pulled them off way too late in the season, but anyway. Um, uh, that's, I never know how to say this, Pavirian Blue. She gets bumps on the tips of her leaves. I really need to get this one in the ground. I have one in the ground somewhere. I just can't remember where it is. Um, I don't know if this is bumps or alloy yet. I originally thought this one and this one were the same, but they, this one goes purple and green and this one goes like orange, purpley pink and then this nice lime, limey yellow center. So I believe they're different plants. I don't know. It's all too confusing with all these different frillies and bumpies. But aren't they just so pretty? Whole heap of propagations I've got out on the table. The snails absolutely love this plant. I have like a bunch of them spread out around here. And normally the snails will go for that particular plant. I can't remember what it's called. Pat Palella? I can't remember. Um, a fairy garden that I made a while ago. Bunch, all these you see here are all leaf grown babies. Same over here. So all these here, they're all leaf grown babies. I finally separated them. All these pots used to be in like seedling trays like this. Obviously, I haven't gotten around to separating that one, but I finally separated them. It takes a while. I've got more over here as well. Um, very time consuming. Look how pretty that is. Blue elf. These trays here, I stuck them outside um, to get some rainwater. Uh, these are my seed grown babies. These ones are not. These are leaf grown. This is that Chris Crispite beauty. That one grows so well by leaf. Um, they're starting to go pink because it's getting colder. I have some more flower stem propagations over here. So this is prima donna. Got some babies developing. Really, really good. Um, this flower stem just kept wanting to produce flowers, so I let it grow a bit, and then I snipped the flowers off again. I forgot that one. That one looks completely albino. Um, this one, i got some babies down here. This is prima donna as well. That's another prima donna flower stem. That one's only a fresh one, so she hasn't got any babies yet. Um, I think I bought this mother plant as... It could be a rainbow or Chantilly rainbow or something. I don't know. But I put her flower stem in. I wasn't expecting any babies, but she gave me some babies. So that's really cool. Don't mind me. I'm just checking, making sure it's not a flower. <laughs> but yeah, these are more of my leaf grown babies. I'm um, not leaf grown, sorry. Seed grown. These are seed grown. And I've got some more over here. All the random leaves you see like this, they're ones that have um, rotted. So I've plucked all the leaves off them because their seed parent actually has bumps. But none of these babies have produced bumps yet, so only time will tell. Big Aeonium. Don't know who she is. She's in the ground, but she's, she's so big. Love the shape of her. Really nice. The variegated nasturtium is going wild in the garden. Um, the dogs always run over this section here, but she's slowly spreading over here. Some more leaf babies. These are um, Lowy Cross Monroe. They, I thought my mother plant was rotting, so I plucked a whole heap of babies. Um, like, I've got just so many. This one's Floral Seas. Or Floral Sea. Can't remember if it's Floral Seas, Floral Sea. I don't know. And this tray here, all oh, these are leaf grown babies. There's so many of them. Like, look over here. Crazy. 
Don't know who this girl is, but she's very pretty. But I'll end the video here. So thanks for watching. Bye.